بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سمر ٹاس سائنس ٹو پیج ٹوینٹی فور اور نیکسٹ ٹاپک از ہائیڈرولکس واٹ از ہائیڈرولکس ہاؤ اٹ ورک اینڈ واٹ آر دا ریکوائرمنٹ ٹو کنسٹرکٹ اے ہائیڈرولک سسٹم آئی ایم موونگ ٹوورڈ دا نیکسٹ لائٹ دیٹ از پاسکل پرنسپل اور پاسکل لا If you will understand Pascal principle or Pascal law, so it will be easy for you to understand about uh, hydraulics. What is Pascal principle? Pascal was a French mathematician and in 1663 uh, he gave this law, he explained this law and according to this law, uh, when we apply pressure at one point in a closed container and inside that container some fluid is there. When we apply pressure at one point, so that pressure is distributed equally in all direction throughout the liquid. So how, looking toward the example, uh, the figure uh, on your screen, you can see there, there is a closed container. Four openings are there, A, B, C and D. And at the end of each opening, there is a movable piston. Movable piston means that the pistons can move backward and forward easily. And inside that container, some fluid is there. When we apply force at point A, you are applying actually force in a unit area, right? And force per unit area means pressure will be there. When you apply some force on piston A, the piston will move inward. Pressure will be there. And that pressure will be distributed equally in all direction in that closed container. And as a result, piston B, C and D will also move backward at a time. So this is uh, Pascal law or Pascal principle. Now coming toward hydraulics. What is hydraulics? Hydraulics is a branch of physics. which deals with transmission of fluid pressure in vessel is a source of mechanical force. Transmission of fluid pressure is written there clearly that fluid pressure is actually responsible to perform any mechanical work. Mechanical work means that any output which is a requirement of that machinery, it can be any requirement like uh, it can be used for uh, lifting the heavy loads, Uh, it can be used to uh, stop any uh, car or vehicle and it can be used to press anything. Like different type of machines are uh, available which works on hydraulic principle or hydraulic uh, system, sorry. And inside that, the Pascal, uh, Pascal principle will be there. Now, um, to make it more clear, I will give you the example of human body. Inside human body, heart is there. and which act as a pump which act as a hydraulic pump and uh, which uh, pump blood to all part of the body and as a result the human body can perform different tasks in the same way uh, in hydraulic system the transmission of fluid pressure is responsible to perform different mechanical tasks to construct a hydraulic system uh, we need some things that is must to construct a hydraulic system and the first thing is that a hydraulic system is made up of different components what are those components in next slide uh, when i will explain the application of pascal law or hydraulic system so that will be clear to you people the second thing is that it required the liquid to go inside the system and that liquid is called hydraulic fluid and the third thing is that the every hydraulic system work on pascal principle And uh, you people know about Pascal principle that when we apply pressure at one point in a closed container, uh, on a, in, a, in that container some fluid will be there and when we apply some force, so that pressure will be distributed equally in all directions. Applications of uh, Pascal law, uh, the first one is hydraulic press, second one is hydraulic uh, lift and the third one is hydraulic brick hydraulic press on your screen you can see a simple diagram of hydraulic press 
and this uh, you can see that we have two cylinders one is uh, the thinner one and having its cross section area a1 and the other one is a2 and its cross section area is a2 both the cylinders are connected with a tube and inside that tube you can see that the yellow fluid is inside and at the end of both cylinders uh, you can see with the red color one is piston one it's uh, in the thinner one and piston two is there in the wider uh, with the uh, at the edge of the wider one right now when we apply some force eight piston uh, one when we apply some force we can call it f1 when we apply some force eight piston a1 so the piston will move inward the piston will move inward and some pressure will be created and that pressure will be transmitted with the help of fluid which is in yellow color and equally in all direction and it will reach to piston 2. As a result the piston 2 will move up and compress the th compresses the things uh, placed over it. it as it is a hydraulic press so it will compress the things and whatever will be there on the top of piston uh, 2 so it will compress it hydraulic press is used to compress raw cotton uh, cloths etc now the next one is a uh, hydraulic lift uh, it's the same uh, diagram but it is just used for lifting the heavy loads uh, when you go for a car wash and uh, there you will there you find that uh, how you will notice that how the heavy cars are lifted by which machine or which type of machine is there so actually that machine is a hydraulic lift and it works on pascal principle uh, looking toward this uh, again we have two cylinders one is uh, the smaller one and one is the wider one uh, in the smaller cylinder when we apply some force here so the pressure will be the, uh, uh, created there at piston uh, one and that pressure will be distributed equally in all direction with the help of fluid inside and it will reach to piston B uh, piston 2 and the piston 2 will move upward as a result it can lift the heavy loads that is how hydraulic lift work now we are moving toward next topic uh, that is next application that is hydraulic brake and it also work on Pascal principle. Here is a simple diagram of um, hydraulic brake, uh, a side view of a simple brake system in your car. Uh, when we apply force here on this pedal, look at this, when we apply force here on this pedal, so the pedal is connected with a movable piston you can see here here the arrow with the arrow the movable piston is there and as a result of this force the piston will move inward and this cylinder is called master cylinder inside this master cylinder some fluid is there uh, which is represented by this red color and we call it brake oil or you can say brake fluid Here you can see that um, inside we have uh, small pistons. Inside the wheel you can see that two small pistons are there. When we apply force on pedal with the help of fluid, uh, brake fluid, the pressure will be transmitted equally in all direction and it will reach to these two small uh, pistons and the pistons will move backward when they will move backward they will push the brake shoe inward we call it brake shoe 
that is how uh, brake pads uh, stop the car uh, when the pressure is released from the pedal so the brake shoes will also move backward and 